Hello and welcome to Machine and Board Your Life from American Quilter Society and Everstone. We're making projects on the Everstone Sparrow X and this time we're making embroidered t-shirts. Let's get started. You can find a link to the written instructions down in the description. Let's look at our supplies. For this project, I have a pre-made t-shirt, medium weight cutaway, I have some clips, scissors, a seam ripper and pencil, embroidery thread of course, some craft spray based, pins, my 120 by 180 millimeter hoop. On my machine, I have a size 75 needle installed. And of course, on my smart device, I have the Everson Pro app loaded and ready to go. We're going to start by making a placement guide. I've loaded my hoop with some scrap paper and I'm going to get on my smart device to start setting up this design. I'm opening up my Everson Pro app and I'm going to hit the patterns tab. The design I want is an animal. I'm going to scroll down and we're going to select this gray moth. It's taking me to the information page. This has lots of great information about its size, how many stitches there are, and the different threads I'll need. So I'm going to hit the um, pencil up in that top right corner. That's going to send it to the editing board. And then from there, it's already the size I want. So I'm going to come over and make sure that the basting stitch is on. With that all set, I'm ready to send it to my machine. Now that I've got the design all set, I'm going to start that basting stitch on my machine. With the basting stitch all done, I'm going to draw around the inside of the hoop with a pencil and then take that out of the hoop, cut out around that marking and that will complete my placement guide. Now with my placement guide, I've got my t-shirt laid out flat and a ruler. You like to set the placement of the design about two inches down from the top of a crew neck, or if you're working from a V-neck, that bottom V, probably about an inch. I like to take my ruler and I like to measure two inches down from that point and then take the center point of my ruler to find the center of the t-shirt and that'll do it. It's also really nice to do this on a mannequin if you have one, but you absolutely don't need to. A flat surface will do just as well. I take my placement guide and I fold over the top edge where the basting stitch is. That's where the top of my design is going to be. And so I butt that up against the edge of my ruler. And then I've got the center line creased out in that stitch area. And so I can line that up against the center of my ruler. And with that placed, I can come in and pin my guide in place, making sure I don't go through both layers or move the guide as I adjust. Once I get a couple pins in, I like to fold it back down and check against the grain of the t-shirt to make sure I still have it all straight. And then I set my last couple pins with it perfectly aligned. I'm going to turn the t-shirt wrong side out and then I'm going to prepare the back with stabilizer. With my piece of cutaway stabilizer, I'm going to use my craft spray base and mostly focusing on the center, get it sticky so it's ready to go on this t-shirt. Usually you like to do this in a well-ventilated area away from your machine. Got the wrong side of the t-shirt out. I had the sticky side of my stabilizer. And I'm just gonna kind of center that over the placement guide, looking at those pins that I have, and press it down onto it. I'm gonna let that dry. Once it's dry, I will flip the t-shirt right side out again. I'm now ready to hoop the t-shirt. I have it turned right side out. I'm going to take my outer hoop and I'm going to bring it between the layers of the t-shirt under that stabilizer. And I like to leave that inner hoop up on top as I start to do this, because it's just going to help me 
begin the process of aligning everything. This part can take a minute, it can take a few tries. It's just the kind of fussy part. And so every little bit that can help us get a good placement is going to really pay off later. So I'm keeping the inner hoop over my placement guide and feeling with my fingers kind of where the outer hoop is underneath it all. I've got my hoop nice and loose, that way it's easy to press in. And so once I'm pleased with that placement, I'm going to press at the four corners. Double check all that, I like how that looks. I'm going to come back in, clamp it off, and then make sure that my stabilizer is drum tight and we're ready to load it in the machine. To help keep the t-shirt out of the way while you're stitching, roll the layers up and use a couple clips. Once you have that all squared away, you can take your placement paper off and install the hoop in the machine. Return the design in your app to the beginning and start stitching. I have here one that I stitched out earlier. When the stitch out's all done, just cut away around the design. If you want to create a really soft um, feel on the back of that t-shirt, you can take a piece of fusible and place it over the stitch out. And then when you turn it right side out, you're gonna have a beautiful t-shirt to wear. And there you go, you have a beautiful embroidered t-shirt. I really love this moth that we've done. I also made one earlier with a little heart. And I have one over here that we've made of a horse. You'll notice that all of them have some open areas in the design. This is really great for t-shirts. If you have a more dense design that you'd like to stitch out, those are better suited for sweatshirts and other heavier materials like that. I've had a bunch of fun making this project with you. Stick around to hear more about the Eversone Sparrow X. A special thanks to our sponsor, Eversone. I'm having so much fun making projects with my Eversone Sparrow X. If you'd like to get to know the machine a little better, you can download the Eversone Pro app right now. You can find it in the App Store or Google Play Store. And to learn more about the machine, check out the link in the description below for a walkthrough video. Thanks for watching.